I remember now. I remember everything. We used to be humans. Normal humans. Just a bunch of regular human kids like you'd see anywhere. And then, we came here. They wanted to turn us into weapons. So they used magic to perform terrible experiments on us. Eventually they succeeded. They managed to create a perfect weapon. The name of that weapon was Number Six. But soon they lost control of Number Six, and the experiment was deemed a failure. They had to create a weapon that could petrify Number Six and seal it away. So they created me. I'm Number Seven. I'm... I'm a weapon. Weapon or no weapon, you're still a meal to us. Thank you. This is number six. She's my sister. <laughs> this thing is alive? My sister is the greatest weapon ever made, and... Yes, go on. And with her power, I could eradicate my petrification curse. So what's the plan here? First, you have to promise me something. Hmm? If my sister somehow manages to swallow me up... My original self becomes lost. I'm afraid I may try to hurt all of you. And if that happens... No! Wait! Then I want you to kill me. You have to get him out of there, now! I'm on it. We're not gonna lose anyone else. There's still time to save him! I know there is! Magic is the only way to damage this one. Stay your weapons. Such attacks will hurt Emil as well. How is magic any different? He is highly resistant to it. Then let's kill that thing with magic and get Emil out of there! <laughs> Emil, we're coming for you! Come back to us. It's okay. It's over now. 
is me watching over you, Emil. Thank you, Halua. Emil! Yeah? Are you all right? I'm still alive. I feel my sister's power inside me. I think I can control my abilities now. Yes, we're all quite pleased. Now get out here already. Just a second. I can't... I can't see very well. Ugh. No, don't! Don't look at me! Emil, what's wrong? Stay back! Good God. <laughs> Welcome back, Emil. You've been through a lot. But my... My body... I can't stand to be with you when I look like this. Now what I tell you, we're here for you, no matter what. <laughs> now then so be it i was terrified at first but it's not all bad you know i have the magic i wanted and i can use it to bring kaine back to us emil we should hurry she's waiting i sure hope seeing me doesn't petrify her you know in fear i see this transformation has not stolen your terrible sense of humor Whenever I interacted with Kaine, I was reminded about something from my past. Maybe my mind has been confusing her with my sister this whole time. Anyway... Beast approaches. Oh, I know. survive these past five years. I'm not going to let this happen again. It dies today. 
my sword fits lighter. It's not the blade, but the skill of the user. Strike it down. Stay alive. Stay alive. Grandma. Kaine, you gotta live. You gotta come back to us. That's a long time. Any luck with Yona? We are still no closer to finding her. We need a way to locate the Shadow Lord. By the way, this is for you. Is that a lunar tear? It's not as good as your grandmother's, but I tried. No, it's great. Thank you. Kaine waking from her long, petrified sleep. Emil's unflagging kindness. Our reunion was a happy one, and we let it wash over us like rain. That is, until Devola and Popola had to go and ruin it all. Are you kidding me? You can't be serious! Please, try to understand. People are tired and scared, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to bear the brunt of that. This is crap, and you know it! It's okay. We can sleep outside. No one's sleeping outside. You and Kaine saved this village, and now they want to run you out? People are afraid of us. And really, I understand. I mean, look at me. As long as you're still with us, I can deal with it. Right, Kaine? 
I'm used to sleeping outside. But... We'll see you later. Sorry about this. What is the matter? Kaine always sleeps outside. I never thought about that until just now. Never even occurred to me. Damn it. We should turn in. I didn't get much sleep that night. For the first time in my life, I hated Devil. For the first time in my life, I doubted Popola. But those feelings are pointless in the end. They said and did what they did for the sake of the village. To protect it from the horror of the Shades. Really, how can I blame Devola and Popola? In the end, I'm just as bad. Because I never once stopped to think about Kaine and Emil's situation myself. Sleep well? Sure. And yet your red eyes tell a different tale. Don't be so hard on yourself, lad. I need to go see Devola and Popola. Very well. Talk to us again. I understand you're doing this for the village, and that you don't have a choice. Pretty much, yeah. But look, why don't you go talk to Popola? I think she wanted to discuss the Shadow Lord with you. I'm headed there next. Oh, and Devola? Yeah? Sorry about yesterday. I shouldn't have lost my temper like that. You don't need to apologize. Anyone would be upset when their friends are hurting. Let Emil and Kaine know that we're sorry, all right? All right. Oh, man, I'm in a heap of trouble now. What's the problem? Well, I was distracted while I was cooking and sort of started a fire. Now I have to repair the kitchen and all my equipment. Can't make the repairs without a bunch of parts, but the only place you can find that much scrap is in the junk heap. Yeah, that's bad news, all right. You want me to go for you? You sure? You'll have to bring a whole bunch of robots and take it from them, so it ain't a... All the more reason to entrust the task to us. This won't be our first time in the junk heap. Just let us know what you need. Thanks. I really appreciate this. I need one memory alloy, ten titanium alloys, and ten broken motors. Got all that? Wow, that's a lot. But okay, we'll be back in a while. Apologize for yes. Stop. You didn't do anything wrong. 
Yeah, but neither did you. You're just trying to protect the villagers. And I jumped down your throat for it. It's very kind of you to say so. Regardless, please don't let it trouble you. Ahem. <clears throat> I believe there was something you wished to discuss with us. Oh, right. Yes, about that. You know about the Lost Shrine, right? The temple where I was first discovered. That's it. Well, it seems that the Shadow Lord's lair is connected to it somehow. Oh, oh. It was right under our pages the whole time. But the bridge that leads there is unusable. So, take a boat. A, a boat? Yes. The canal's finally been repaired. It took a lot longer than expected. What with the shades and all. I also asked them to provide a boat at the path to the Lost Shrine's back entrance. The ferryman will let you use it free of charge. That should make it easier for you to move from town to town. Thanks, Popola. I feel like you've done so much for me. I'm really grateful. <sighs> All right. I'll see you around. And for the love of everything, be careful. above the entrance to the shopping district should lead to the boat landing. How excellent to know the canal is finished. Hopefully this puts our days of running all over behind us. The faster we can move, the faster we can save Yona. Let's use it as often as we need. job should I give you first? A facade resident is looking for help. It's about flowers or something like that. I wrote down the... Hey, you. You ever seen a treasure map before? A treasure map? Yeah, a treasure map. You know, a map that shows you where to find buried treasure. I'm collecting them. My lifelong dream is to one day roll naked in a pile of sweet, sweet treasure. That's an interesting dream. So that's why I'm looking for a new treasure map or two. If you find one, bring it on over to me, all right? Sure thing. I guess I should know where to look for a treasure map before telling the guy sure thing. One could hardly expect to stumble across such a thing lying on the ground. Perhaps we should look for a place where old documents are stored. Old documents, huh? Hey, look who it is! Remember me? That red bag. By my pages, you're the slovenly half of that couple who refused to stop arguing. Hey, it's been a while. Sure has. I've been in charge of this canal since we last talked. Apparently I did a pretty good job with it because they decided to make me the permanent ferryman. Oh yeah, huh? Congrats. Thanks. Still, it's not all puppies and unicorns. The old ball and chain is always harping on me now about how much I work. Anyway, if you got a place to be, just let me know and I'll take you there. Sure, I guess. Why? If I can track them down, they're all yours. Ah, 
Hi there. Do you carry axles and paddle boards? Kayare Pichku. Tada, Kototaru, Tisso, To, Retakite. Oh, great. So, how much do you need? Gore, Gusso, Gutsu, Gu, Pik. Gotcha. I'll be back in a bit. Water wheels are great, but they're a pain in the butt to maintain. In the past, humans harnessed different methods to provide energy. Like what? One such method was achieved through the intricate compounding of iron and fire. Wow! What did they do with that? Oh, a great many things. It could be used to power large iron crates called trains, or illuminate whole cities against the dark of night. Oh. Why not? Who wants to move a big iron crate? And how am I supposed to sleep if it's all bright outside? Well, I suppose if you wish to look at it that way... Besides, my life is lots of fun already! If more people were like you, Emil, this world might not be half bad. What kind of work? I can do that. ある程度 <laughs> The Lost Shrine's up ahead, just past this cave. As well as the Shadow Lord's castle. Let us make haste.
This is all too easy. 